I really was fearful, very, very fearful. I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't know anything about breast cancer. I thought I would have a mastectomy. Talked to my doctor and he reassured me a lumpectomy. It's the course of treatment he suggested. The clinical problem that we run into is that when we do lumpectomies for breast cancer, about 25% of the time, there ends up being cancer cells at the edge of what we take out. And so then we have to call the patient, bring him back to the OR, and take out some more tissue so we can get no cancer at the edge or a negative margin. I didn't realize at that point that I might have a second surgery. I learned later that happens all the time. If there was a process that could lessen the likelihood of a repeat surgery, that would be amazing. Our first innovation was to obtain MRIs with patients lying on their back. And that way the breast would be in the same position that it would be in the OR table. And then we used the expertise of our engineers to take those images and create a 3D picture of the cancer in the breast for the surgeon. And this computer-generated model is a, a very helpful tool in uh, guiding the surgery. I can move that model around on the computer beforehand and so I can get a better idea about what the shape of the tumor is. So we've got two components to it. One is this visualizer and then there's the breast cancer locator itself which is this 3D printed plastic bra-like form that was custom made for each patient would be placed on the breast right before surgery and it would allow the surgeon to place these bracketing wires around the cancer so that we knew exactly where it was while we were operating. With the form, then whatever the shape the breast is in at the time of the imaging, you can recreate it. The clinical trials I went through, I was given an opportunity for two. I chose the one that Dr. Barth was working on. We did our first pilot trial then, 19 patients, and showed that the breast cancer locator very accurately identified the cancer and allowed us to resect it with negative margins in all 19 cases. The first time we went in, Dr. Barth was super excited with the breast cancer locator. Having been an engineer where we've made a lot of things that don't always work, I tried to dampen, I said, Rick, you know, don't be discouraged if it doesn't work very well, whatever. It was amazing. I was shocked how it worked beautifully. The first one we made was fantastic. It went just like he imagined it. Our second pilot trial was that we involved three other hospitals and showed that these other surgeons at other institutions could also use the breast cancer locator very effectively. It worked great. Every case with the breast cancer locator was a negative margin. We didn't have any positive margins. The success of those pilot trials led us to initiate a large, what we call, pivotal trial. And in our pivotal trial, we're comparing our new localization guidance system the breast cancer locator and the visualizer to the standard of care, which is just having a wire placed in the middle of the cancer prior to surgery. When the study is explained to patients, a very high proportion of the patients are very interested in being part of the study. I was ex so kind of comforted that we had this opportunity to do this trial and to me to be part of it, and that it would help with m maybe not having a second surgery, which I didn't have to have on that particular tumor. It's interesting being a part of the research in a smaller community hospital. When community members, men or women, find out that we're being part of research, it helps them to realize that we provide really world-class care close to home. I was excited that I could be part of it. This could be something that could really benefit other people down the road. There is really nothing like this out there and there's nothing um, trying to have as big an impact as we are. We think there's a real role for our device and think it's going to really transform breast cancer surgery once our trial is finished and hopefully shows the results that we're anticipating it's going to show.